Now we discuss important topics in pathology. Now approach to pathology will change according to the year you are in. If you are a second year MBBS student, let me clear it again. If you are a second year MBBS student, then my advice is that instead of going here and there, you should read the textbook, Robin's textbook, page by page, cover by cover. That is the best approach and the best time to finish it. You can dedicate your one and a half year of second year second professional examination to read Robbins cover to cover because that is the only time you can read it completely. Otherwise, it is not possible during the internship. It is the best book in the entire MBBS, far superior than Harrison's in my opinion. And this is one book which will help you solve more than 20 to 30 questions in your PG entrance exam. It is very important to focus on the relevant images which are given in the pathology books because these images are a potential source of image based questions in your PG entrance exam. Now coming for those who are in internship currently, they should not go and read Robbins cover to cover, mind it. But the images of Robbins are still an important source of questions. So what you can do is for systemic pathology especially, chapter wise you can revise the relevant images and the context which is given in either in your MCQ books or in your coaching notes. You can revise it in detail and even check up images on internet related to that. If we consider pathology as a subject, it is divided in two parts. One is general pathology, one is systemic pathology. Systemic pathology has a lot of overlap with medicine. So it may be an individual choice to finish systemic pathology with medicine. That is your choice. And if you do that, it will save a lot of time because only the management part is left. So that is what I used to do. I used to finish my systemic pathology along with the relevant units in medicine. As far as general pathology is concerned, each chapter has a separate bearing. The most important chapter is inflammation. You have loads and loads of questions from inflammation, acute as well as chronic. The impact of individual cytokines, chemokines, their influence on the inflammatory and the immune system is very important. Apart from that, the basic cascades of apoptosis, the impressions of necrosis and the relevant stains are very very important. The next important unit is neoplasia, where the basis of neoplasia, the basis of tumorigenesis and the theories behind it are very very important. You get a lot of questions on oncogenes, you get a lot of questions on tumor suppressor genes as well as the developing concept of tumor antigens, the tumor markers, everything is a potential question. So neoplasia is a very important topic including the cell cycle, including the cell cycle controls you read in this chapter. What additionally you need to focus in general pathology is the important genetic techniques which are coming up. Because every now and then whether you read in biochemistry or in pathology, you will definitely have a question on the newer techniques of pathology. The CGH array, the RFLP, the individual restriction assays which are coming up. So these are very very important and who knows in future you may get an image to identify CGH array. So the basics of epigenetics, all these are fresh topics which are very well given in Robbins, especially the newer techniques of genetics. Apart from this, the next important topic which has an overlap with microbiology is your immunology. And one chapter of Robbins which includes the basics of immunology along with the applied immunology in the form of clinical diseases, various collagen vascular disorders. It is very very important chapter. So immunology is very important. Either you do it from here or you do it in microbiology that is your choice but it's definitely important. From immunology, neoplasia to inflammation. This is your basic bulk of general pathology. In this I would like to add if given a choice you don't have a choice of reading the pathology completely no shortage of time. I'll still prefer any day doing general pathology over systemic pathology because 
In general pathology, the topics are selective and they don't have an overlap with medicine mostly. So, at that stage, if you have to choose, then general pathology should be done for sure. In systemic pathology, first of all, you should focus on the oncology portion of individual units, whether it is cardiac tumors, the renal tumors, the lung cancer, the breast cancer, the genetics, as well as the various histological types, the molecular types of various cancers, what are the genetics involved, how, how does they present on histopathology and clinically, that is very, very important. So for individual units, if you have to focus, then you focus on the cancers of each unit. That is the most important. Apart from this, in systemic pathology, one unit which carries the maximum, maximum weightage is your hemat. The WBC and RBC, they are the most important source of questions. And out of WBC and RBC, definitely it is the WBC, the Hodgkin, the non-Hodgkin lymphoma and your myeloproliferative disorders, which are the most important source of questions in medicine as well as pathology. And apart from this, there are some recent techniques in pathology, staining and all that which is important. Pathology as a whole is a very vast subject. If you think of reading novels in internship, you are mistaken. That should be read while your second prof. But what if, if you have not finished Robbins during your second prof, then don't give up. You need to have a selective approach. The topics we have highlighted, you need to focus on those topics. First finish your general pathology, then finish the oncology portion of individual systemic units and do your WBC and RPC in a very thorough manner. And then do the important stains which are relevant to individual chapters. What I feel if you finish the oncology and you do WBC and RBC in detail, most, most and most, almost 80% of your systemic path is over. And most of the time, the questions which are asked in the exam are integrated. So sometimes your overlap with medicine will definitely help. But important thing is, Pathology is the most important source of your image-based questions. So even if you are in internship, you should always time, find time for going through the Robbins portion and see the relevant images, especially in systemic pathology, which includes the histopathology images as well as the gross pathology images. Both are equally important and questions can be asked on both. Pathology is one subject which will get you a decent rank. It is a, a subject which makes you clear an exam, which needs to be done initially. It is not a subject which can you can take up in the last 10 days or last 20 days because it's very vast. So what I would suggest, if your pathology is weak, you should focus to finish it early because it's very vast. Thank you.